Hello, this is Final Touch and this is my second tutorial about Animator. I'm using Point 97D version of the software. So, whenever we are starting or creating a 3D models, we're starting to draw or to build a primitive objects. You'll notice the yellow outline here. That means this is a 3D primitive object. Okay. What if we are start to build a 3D models on using a pad? Okay. What is pad about? Pad is a combination of points or lines, something like that. So on the menu bar, you select build, and you see the lat. This is the process that we are now going to use on creating a 3D model. Okay. Uh, whenever we're starting to create a 3D objects, okay, let's think about it. About the details of the object. Um, for example, we are start to build a soft drink scan. We still select uh, build a cylinder, then convert into the mesh, then resize it, then we are modify its face so it's a tough job right okay on this case we are now selecting or creating a, a path and now i'll draw a straight path here using a straight path horizontally switch it to curved path okay and i will through um, an outline of a 3D can it's only the right side of the 3D can so um, okay this is the bottom side bottom side of the soldering scan all right then select the fat that we have drawn before then on the menu bar on the menu bar okay. first we are rotate it okay you see the path only flows along the x-axis mm -hmm. see that Let's go back into the front view. So you select menu on build, then lat, then okay. First we check this X button on the X axis and increase the segments, number of segments to to make it more look smooth. Means um high polygon. So, okay, you notice it only modifies or generated along the x-axis. There's something right, wrong, right? It only flows on here on the x-axis and about 360 degrees. So, what shall we do now? Okay, let's again select this path on build then on the lat here it is before we are we selected the x axis but now we will switch it into y axis it will only flows on the y axis to create a 3d can and make sure it's close first though we have a 3d can just on the Precise it on X axis. Then we have a three D gun. This is the part. Um, we rotate it, rotate it, and press down. We have created a three D can in an ECS way, but using a cylinder. Um, I hope this tutorial will help you a lot. And if you want, subscribe. Okay, sorry for my English and next on this 
the next on my, on my text tutorial I will teach you about using this text button okay thank you this is final touch and have a good day